and have been removed by a filter. The remaining microorganisms and bacteria are sterilized with the disinfectant. The treatment process is remarkably simple. First, ballast water that has been sucked up by the ballast pump passes through the filter. The ballast water enters through the lower part of the filter and plankton larger than 50 micrometers is removed by the filter elements and returned to its original water together with the backwash water. The filter elements are automatically backwashed in rotation to prevent clogging. At the same time, other filter elements continue the treatment process. Next, the disinfectant is injected into the ballast water through the injector and the remaining microorganisms and bacteria are sterilized. Once the disinfectant has been injected, the ballast water is stirred by a mixing plate specifically designed by JFE in order to mix a disinfectant homogeneously. Now let's take a look at the difference of the components and chemical injection process for each type of disinfectant. First, we will look at the method for injecting the liquid disinfectant. The liquid disinfectant stored in the disinfectant storage tank is pumped by the chemical injection pump and injected into the ballast water line. The disinfectant storage tank is equipped with a chiller a cooling unit that prevents deterioration. Regarding the granular disinfectant, first, a container of the granular disinfectant that is stored on board is loaded into the disinfectant supply unit. Next, the disinfectant is fed into the hopper of the disinfectant dissolution unit. Once the ballasting operation starts, the appropriate volume of disinfectant is automatically supplied from the hopper to be dissolved. After that, the dissolved disinfectant is injected into the ballast water line by the chemical injection pump. Whether liquid or granular, the volume of disinfectant to be injected is calculated automatically based on data from the TRO meter unit and the flow meter. Just before the disinfectant is injected into the ballast tank, the residual chlorine concentration level is automatically adjusted to 2.5 ppm. The entire treatment process is completed upon